What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Lloyd took a hiatus, not because he wanted to, but because he was dealing with uh, a bad label situation and a bunch of other problems, both professional and personal. So he took a step back and was able to reevaluate, get out of the bad deal, become independent. And so now he's ready to start the next chapter of his career with his true EP. Upon my first listen, it was clear that Lloyd hasn't missed a step. Time is something that comes into play when uh, we discuss artists. Like, time plays against a lot of them. So, with Lloyd, it hasn't. He doesn't sound like a washed up version of himself. The true EP is magnificent. I like that he's easing back into it. He didn't just come out the gate and give us a full album, no. He dropped a single, let it marinate, and then came out with the EP and 2017, probably the album. So I like that he's not just diving right into it. He gave us his appetizer in the true EP. On an EP that only has five songs, doing a favorites is a little difficult. I admittedly loved everything on this EP from true to true remix. So I didn't want to discuss everything. Obviously, I've talked about True, the single. If you've never heard it, the basis of it is it's like an open letter to the fans explaining what was going on and just thanking them for their support. Now let's get into the two favorite songs that I wanted to highlight. The first one is titled Heavenly Body and it features Rick Ross. I love when artists exaggerate the idea of going to a strip club. Lloyd does it perfectly here. He says, I almost died last night when you took off your clothes. And at one point I felt like uh, Pretty Ricky's Your Body, that record, that melody kind of popped into my head. It was something random that came to mind, but maybe it's the whole use of body, but I can see some similarities in the melodies. I'm not saying that Lloyd uh, purposely wanted to capture like that same melody, but I think it's it's just a coincidence, and it's one that just came to my mind. Maybe nobody else will hear it except me, but it's it's a pretty random record to just randomly think about. Rick Ross, well, he does what he does best on every record. He stunts, he flashes some cash, he talks about how he's going to change Shorty's life. He also pays tribute to Shoddy Low, and I think that was a cool gesture to do. The other record I wanted to highlight is titled Excited. There is no way that you can listen to this record and not smile. It's just so full of life. Like, the production is just... As soon as I heard it, I'm like, yeah, Lloyd is going to kill this. While Heavenly Body celebrated, you know, stripping and falling in love with a stripper and being amazed at the art of stripping, uh, Excited feels like a one-on-one -on -one relationship, one that's very fresh. He's... It seems like Lloyd is just starting out in this relationship. And you can tell that he's just enthusiastic about everything. Like I mentioned, with only five songs, it's hard to choose favorites, and it's also hard to choose bad songs. Like I said, there was no bad records on this EP. The only thing that I would change, and I'm going to label it uh, Unnecessary Songs, is the true remix. This song was so personal to Lloyd that I feel like it just didn't need a remix. I like 2 Chainz verse. Um, I'm happy that he was able to stick to the concept. It doesn't sound like your typical 2 chains verse, and so I like the song. I just don't agree that it should have made the EP, maybe? Uh, Lloyd's parts really don't change. So you have a new 2 chains verse and then the same song pretty much over. So I just felt like you didn't need the song twice on the EP, unless there was going to be some notable changes on the remix, but there isn't. The Lloyd comeback story for 2017 is going to be so sweet. I hope that it's everything and more for him. He's just so talented as a singer, and he hasn't let time take that away. It's evident while listening to his true EP. There's no songs worth skipping on here, and everything feels like it has replay value for the most part, minus the true remix, which I will probably play substantially less than everything else, but the other four records have so much replay value in my opinion. And at the end of the day, that's really all you can ask for out of an artist. So Lloyd delivered that and then some. So let me know what you think about the true EP after you listen to it in the comment section below. Then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.